Hi, this is Dr. Hamill, and today I'm sharing with you this um, complex uh, uh, acute MI case with cardiopulmonary arrest. Um, a patient is 75 years old, presented with acute MI, and uh, she had uh, PEA and uh, started CPR and intubated and then brought to cath lab while doing CPR. Um, this the angiogram between CPR, so I'm doing CPR, then I'm doing the angiogram in between, get the access, and then the JL guide, JL35. Of course, I'm gonna pass the run through wire on 2012 and do um, a fast inflation. And here is the um, angiogram. Now you can see um, some flow in the circ and the LED. So here directly advancing another wire toward the um, circ, kept the um, uh, other wire advance the wire distally toward the um, LED and do inflation again in the um, uh, left main 2012 and here is we have some flow different view oh, again we're doing it while doing CPR and here is now we have the wire distal um, uh, LED that's what we ask them for to establish the flow toward the LED and here is the um, we have some flow distal and we can tell where, where we're gonna place the stent. We're gonna start here. Here started 22538 uh, stent. And here again 275 uh, uh, toward the left main. Again, while doing CPR, we inflate in those um, stents. Here is angiogram after. Still, the flow is not the best, so I opted to do a um, uh, pronto LP right away, fast. And here is the angiogram after. So we have now um, good flow in the um, uh, LED. We established the flow in the LED and the um, LCX as well. Now, since we established flow, I have to do like fast inflation, high pressure for the LED and uh, left main um, uh, stent. And here is final angiogram toward the LED and LCX. Now move on gear toward the um, uh, JR4 and here is the MLV. Um, you see the spine myocardium and severe cardiomyopathy and then here is the um, uh, RCA. We have tight lesion distal. Looks like there is a stent um, uh, in the mid segment and distally we have this um, uh, tight lesion. So dilating the lesion fast again and doing um, uh, stent in the distal segment 275 and then 3.0 stent in the um, med segment and here we establish flow also toward the um, uh, RCA which is a huge vessel um, uh, dominant vessel we have to make three flow so coronary wise we have um, established flow in the left main distal LED circ and now the RCA PDA PL branches, so we're done with them um, coronaries. Now, moving gear toward um, uh, placing balloon pump or impella. Now here, the angiogram distal um, uh, aorta, which is um, ectatic aorta, and we have tight lesion here, and that's why we don't have pulse in this um, uh, leg. So we have tight lesion in the common iliac artery. Of course, during CPR, you see here I have actually two um, uh, central lines for femoral arteries right and left and then here I do 4-0 balloon toward the iliac and then angiogram where we're gonna place the stent and we can place it up to um, uh, here Finally, of course, the um, uh, balloon pump placement. And here is the radiation and the time, flow of time, which is not bad for such multivessel case. All right, thank you very much for watching. I just um, uh, would like to share with you this multivessel PCI during um, uh, CPR. I wish you enjoy it.